Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. This project, I know we all like butterflies, so we're going to make a gorgeous butterfly card using lots of Anna Griffin products. Just before I get going, I just want to say a big thank you to Joanne. She's one of my viewers and she sent in an email with lots of cards that she's made and they're all absolutely gorgeous. Well done Joanne. Thanks for watching. I love hearing from everybody and I love seeing what you've made and if I've been an inspiration to just one person then I've got it right. So thanks Joanne for making my day. So let's get going with this card. I'm using a 6x6 six six inch card base in ivory and that's what it looks like on our cardometer. Now my camera's just zooming in and out a minute while it catches up. So it's a nice surface, it's not too big and not too small to be over daunting for anybody who's new to make a card. Because sometimes if it's too big, then you think, what am I going to fill this with? So it's a good size. Now, as always, we're going to start with the inside. Before I put anything on the inside, I want to show you how to make corners. Because we're going to add some corners to this card. And I thought it'd be really cool for you to see how I've done them. I've done a video before of how to do um, embossed corners and this is the same principle really but I'm asked over and over again about the corners and how to make them. So what I've done is Anna's got some paper in the Charlotte collection that's peacock squares. So I've taken one of the squares and I've cut it in half and all I'm simply going to do is fold from the centre over and I'm simply going to make sure that the both sides at the back meet to make a nice triangle and there we go just fold that in and turn it over and I'm just going to use my bone folder to make a nice crisp line and then you take a piece of tape for the back and um, this is quite thin tape and just simply pop your tape over the back and then when you're ready to use your corner peel the back of the tape away and pop it on whatever you're going to use and that's your corner so that's just a quick reminder of how we make our corners. I'll put a link for the full video below. Don't worry that the for embossed corners, it's still the same process to use them um, unembossed. So we'll go back to our card. And the first thing that I've got is I've got a piece of blank ivory card. Now I've already got double sided tape on the back of it and I'm just going to peel the actual tape back away. Then I'm going to get my corners and I'm going to add these with my extra hand. There we go. And I'm going to add these to the corners of my insert. So just bear with me because I've got them stuck down and uh, I need three hands for this job. So we'll just pop them on. Oops, you can't see. Sorry. <laughs> Not being very professional today, am I? Needing three hands for my corners and then not showing you what I'm actually doing anyway. So pop that one on there, like so. Oops, I think we've got a bit of tape in the way. Come on, in you go. That's it. And then the last one. So let's pop that one on, there we go, and then we can place that on the inside of our card, trying to get the corner straight, and there we go. So that looks pretty already. The next thing that I've got is I've used some of Anna's glitter card. And I've cut out a square and I've cut out the centre of it to create a frame. So I'm just going to peel off the double sided tape that I added on the back 
and we're going to place this in the center of our insert like that and then finally I've stamped a square that's exactly the same size as the center of the insert and I've stamped it using one of Anna's gorgeous summer fall ink pads and it says for my dear friend I've inked the edge so please just because Anna's aren't distress inks don't think that you can't use them for techniques because you can um, they're gorgeous they really are and you can emboss with them you can ink you can use them on your embossing um, sheets etc so we're going to just pop the sentiment inside the glitter frame so that's our inside done so now we're going to move to the outside and I'm just going to make sure that's still a good sharp fold now the first thing that I've got for the front of the card is a base layer again I've taken this from the Charlotte collection and I've got double sided tape on the back of it so we're just going to pop that on and position it so it's central but we've got a nice border around the edge I've not taken it to the full size of the card so that's the first layer next what I've got is a layer cut from the glitter card again I've taken the centre away from it and I've used 3D foam so it's more of a frame than an actual layer so I'm just peeling the back of the actual 3D foam off but then I'm going to add corners to this I've already made them and I've already added on the back 3D foam so I'm just going to simply pop these onto our card edge just bear with me because I've got a little bit of glue inside and I've just pressed it and folded it down right so let's pop these on the corners of our frame like that so I've just got three to do and again needing my three hands so we'll just place these on the outside of our frame put it up to the edge and the next one and then the last one there we go and then once the corners are onto the frame we can pop that on the centre of our card like that and that looks absolutely gorgeous already so the next thing I've got is one of Anna's glitter sticker butterflies and this is the same colour as the glitter card that we've used but I've also got the gold butterfly that's in the Charlotte kit now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on the back of the gold butterfly 3D foam like I have done there and I'm just going to peel the back of that away and I'm just going to pop that down for a minute because on the back of the glitter sticker I've simply made a tiny cut along the back of the glitter sticker to remove just the back of the body of the actual butterfly because I don't want to remove the sticker back from the wings and then I'm going to fold it slightly so its wings are tilted a little bit like that and then the gold butterfly I'm going to do the same just tilt the wings a little bit and then I'm going to put the gold butterfly on top of the blue one like that and then we're going to pop the butterfly in the center 
of our card. Okay, now if you think you might need a little bit more glue, add a little bit more glue to it. But I think mine will stick nicely there. So the next thing I've got is I've got from the Charlotte collection one of the sentiments that says best friends. I've put 3D foam on the back of it and I'm just going to position it in the corner and I've also got two of the little B embellishments from the same collection, Charlotte and I'm simply going to add the little Bs at the side of the embellishment just to finish it off like that and that is our card finished so it's something a little bit different very pretty ideal for your best friend or you could adapt it put a different sentiment on it and everybody loves butterflies you've got the glitz from the gold and on the corners plus on the butterfly and all the glitter from the glitter card as well so I'd like to thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this if you've got anything to say please feel free and I shall see you again next time